some more parts for this beast. Got me some coilovers for the front end. These little guys. They are, uh, used as everything I get is. So I'll have to spend the 75 doll hairs and uh, have them sent out and get rebuilt. Got some new springs for them from the Speedways. Uh, also got a plethora of other junks and things. So uh, <clears throat> the plan here is to get rid of this horrible rear end geometry. Uh, my leaf springs are mounted like a so doesn't do much for the traction. And I don't like it. So we're gonna try to make up a little torque arm set up here. I got my little 8.8, .8. made me a little torque arm bracket. Uh, see how that works. Um, so to do that with this 8.8, .8, it's five on four and a half bolt pattern. Uh, also the rotors are that as well. So I borrowed a buddy's uh, little uh, hole driller jabber jobber thing. We're going to make this five and four and three quarters so I can fit all the stuffs and things on there. And uh, get the axles in. I'm going to drill it. Get the axles in. Calipers on. Actually, I don't need that. Axles in and we'll put some wheels on it and nip that little uh, other axle out and shoot a new one in there and pull everything all mocked up. Alright, there she is. My new bolt pattern drilled out. Got the ARP studs in there. Got both the axles in the housing. So, uh, yeah. See what this thing looks like. The axle looks like it's spaced in there pretty well. Right here I got some uh, brackets tacked in place. Uh, I'm thinking that this will allow me to be relatively, well that one's obviously just sitting there, but it's going to allow me to be relatively level once I get this bracket in place. Um, not sure how I like uh, how I like this link hanging down, this tab hanging down. This would put me about three and a quarter inches off the ground, so I might have to chop that off so I can still get clearance. I'm not going to be running in this hole. I'm going to be running in this hole up here. So I just wanted this extra hole for some adjustability, and there's another one up top that I'll have to clearance behind that, so I'm going to bolt in there. Uh, I'll have to drill that hole out. Uh, Yeah, so most of my measurements are 
in place now. Uh, just gonna run the coil of the bracket here. Up. Gotta get my space left to right, and then I can pack these guys in. Um, that link's pretty level. Once I get the coilover brackets uh, tacked in, I can mount the coilovers up top and put this boy on right height and at right height and see where she's at. So my thoughts there are, uh, are once I get it to right height, then I can see where my holes line up uh, for the lower links, both on the axle side and the frame side, and measure where they're at, make sure they're pretty close. They should be right around uh, 10 and 3 quarter to 11 inches with the way my tire is with 3 quarters of an inch of tire squish and all the other maths. So hopefully that works out good. Um, I got to run the numbers for the torque arm and see where that puts my anti squat. Um, I planned on those lower links coming down to like 7 inches and I was shooting for about 80% anti squat with them going down to 11 inches. I'm sorry, up to 11 inches. That throws my numbers all the way out to like negative 63% anti squat. So I'm about to play with the uh, torque arm mounting points a little bit. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna go play with some numbers and I'll probably get back out here next weekend. Thanks for watching. Do all that like and subscribe stuff.